But anyone who's listening with any children around, uh, I'm giving you a heads up. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of language here in the next little two minutes. But we'll it almost makes it better. I, I don't know. I'm like, I love it because then you're like, really this is real. I'm really off at what some people's idea of progress is, okay? I'm listening to all this stuff for the last three months, crazy shit, maybe for the last four months. Crazy shit. Like, how about this? Uh, yes, yeah, so we need a congestion fee. Like, no one should be allowed to come down uh, to Toronto if you're entering the city, driving into the city. We need to charge you a congestion fee. Fuck you! No fucking congestion fee. Fuck me. Like, if I want to drive, who the fuck, first of all, who the fuck would want to drive into fucking Toronto? Like, <laughs> Toronto. Crazy town. But... What's this all about congestion fees? So you just want only the people who live there to be able to have cars in Toronto? You want you, you want to keep everybody the fuck out or charge them up the ass if they want to come in? No, fuck that. Guess what? All the shit is downtown. The baseball, the hockey, the football, the the, the basketball, uh, every goddamn thing is downtown. All the entertainment, all the concerts. So, uh... Well, you could uh, you could take the uh, take the transit. Fuck you, some old fat guy or some older guy or somebody, maybe even a walker or a little bunch of little kids who wouldn't know. Like you can't take your kid to a fucking ball game. You gotta get on train, planes, trains, and automobiles to get fucking downtown. Bullshit, bullshit. I say, fuck progress, fuck congestion fees. That's all wrong. How about this next fresh fucking hell they've dreamt up? Oh. We are going to, we don't like all these very large pickup trucks uh, in downtown Toronto or in downtown Vancouver or in downtown Montreal. Uh, we want to ban these very large pickup trucks. They should not be parking in our streets. Fuck you. Fuck progress. Fuck that shit. What, you got to run around a bunch of Cairns with a fucking big measuring tape to decide how big the pickup truck is? You want somebody to come and fix your plumbing, fix your electrical, fix your shit, okay? That person's going to have a pickup truck, you fucking idiots, okay? And, uh, yeah, don't don't tell me you don't want any big truck. We don't want big trucks. How the fuck do you think, think? Or you want all the fucking trucks that feed you, that bring you food downtown? You want them all to come in the middle of the night? And all, all You know, everybody's got to work late to please you and no big trucks in your parking spaces? Fuck that, okay? Fucking stupid. That's not progress. That's bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. Oh, um... 15-minute neighborhoods. Yes, we want to... Well, nobody needs a car. Everyone should just be able to function within a 15-minute neighborhood. All your services are there. Your groceries, your medical, your dental, your business. Like, Or work from home. That's better. Work from home. Never need a car. Fuck you, 15-minute cities. Fuck the 15-minute cities. Bunch of bullshit. Okay? Like, what? Well, you want to give up all your... You've got a doctor. You, you, you got a doctor that's a little too far away for a 15-minute fucking walk. You're fucking old anyway, and you don't want to walk? Yeah, I don't want to walk. Like, fuck you all. No walking, no bikes, no shit. I like my fucking car. Look at it. It's bullshit. 15-minute cities, congestion fees, uh, no big trucks downtown. Fuck all that shit, okay? Honestly, that's not progress. That's bullshit. Oh, you're just a, just an old cranky man. We don't care what you think. Fuck you! There's lots of people who think like me. And it's fucking stupid. All you people are inventing your own shit because you want to live some kind of downtown elite and you want to run the fucking world out of downtown and nobody else can come down there. Fuck that. The province, the federal government, everybody. We all put money into these goddamn facilities you got down there. And you're going to fucking share them. No more bullshit about progress. I'm starting to get... This man's coming to my wedding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, he does so much content where he's just like, "Now I look like an old boomer, but here's the truth." And then he like says something like super in favor of millennials because he's like, "This is just the case. Like it's way harder to live right now." Yeah, and it's just like, "Thank you, boomer, who gets it." <laughs> right. <laughs> thank, thank you. And so it's kind of funny because like sometimes I send like some of his stuff like off to the boomers that I'm connected to and uh, they're just like, Oh yeah, he makes a lot of sense. I'm like, it's because he's old. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I understand what he's saying. Cause if I had sent him somebody like my age, they'd be like, Oh, the lazy millennials, they don't care. Blah, blah. Oh. So it's like, he's like a really, really good bridge in that way. Cause he's like he, your spokesperson. Yes. It's like, thank you, dude. <laughs> you ah. appreciate it. But yeah, he's, yeah. he's pretty funny. Yeah. He can rip a strip off someone. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I've always I've always loved to TikToks mainly because I've just really enjoyed him going into you know what's been going on with the interest rates or like what to expect, mm. why 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 was the interest rate hiked, why was it stall stalled that type of stuff, mm. um, and so he's just really honest. And the, my favorite part about him is like people go to him asking for like predictions. 
He's like, oh. he's like, screw you. I don't know how to, I'm not, I don't know anything that's going on. I just know, I'm just reading numbers. Based on the numbers, which is why I see that could happen, but I don't know what's going to happen. You right. know, he's just really real, which I appreciate. 